Welcome back to my channel. In today's video I created this makeup look and it is a full inspired makeup look. You can definitely pair this look with a dark vampy lip if you like but I wanted to do like a really nice nude gloss and as always all the brushes and products I use will be listed down below in the description box. I really hope you guys like this video. If you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're new to my channel. I really hope you guys like it and let's get started. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is just comb out my eyebrows with my spoolie brush and then I'll be filling in my brows using the Cabral by Benefit in number 5. So now I'm just going to comb through my brows again, just to make sure all the product is evenly spread out. And now I'm just going to set them in place with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And now I'll just be using my Too Faced Concealer just to carve out my eyebrows. And I always do this step because I love my eyebrows bold and really sharp and carved out you know so now with the same concealer in the shade very fair I'm just going to apply it on my eyelids and blend it out with my finger because it's going to be acting as our eyeshadow primer And for today's eye look, I'll be using the Morphe 3050 Matte Palette. And I'll first be picking up this shade. It's the lighter shade in the palette. And just be applying it all over my eyelids so it can set that concealer. And then it will just help the eyeshadows blend more seamlessly. And now I'll be picking up this shade here for my transition shade. And I'll just be using my Zoeva 224 brush. And now I'll be taking this shade here and applying it into my crease. And I'll just be using my Morphe M441 brush to do that. And then blending those two shadows with my 224 brush again. So now with a flat shader brush, I'm just going to be picking up this shade here and applying it all over my lid. And I feel like this shadow in particular is like a really full inspired shade. And now with a more pointed crease brush, I'm going to be applying these two shadows. The one I applied in my crease and then the one I applied all over my lids. Mixing them together and applying them into my crease. And this will give us a more smoky look and blend the two shadows together. And now back with my 224 brush, I'll just be blending all the shadows together, but I won't be adding any additional shadow. And I'll be packing a little bit of that shadow that we used on our lid again on the lids, just to intensify a little bit more. And then with my crease brush again, just blending it out. You can add winged eyeliner if you like, but I feel like I always do that in like all of my videos. So for this look, I'm not going to put any liner on. So I'm just going to clean up just the edges of my eyes a little bit with my Kanye Micellar Cleansing Water. And now I'm just going to be applying my Too Faced Hangover Primer all over my face. 
I love the smell of this primer because it's got coconut in it and it smells a little bit like coconut. And this primer is actually good for your skin as well, which is really good. And now I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 115 Ivory. And I'll just be applying it all over my face with my pink Dampy Beauty Blender. This is also my first time using this foundation, so hopefully I like it. I didn't really like the Julian Smooth one, but everyone raves about this one, so... Let's try it out. Hopefully it's okay. I really like this one way more than the Dewey & Smooth one. It blends so much easier and it isn't patchy. I found the Dewey & Smooth one was patchy on me, but this one's actually really, really good. I feel like this is like a medium to full coverage foundation, like you can definitely layer it if you want a more full coverage look. But if you just want like a medium coverage look, you can just do one layer and then it's fine. So overall, I actually really like that foundation. It's really good for a drugstore foundation, I find. And it blended really well and it's so much better than the Fit Me um, Dewy and Smooth one. And now I'm just going to be applying my Born This Way Naturally Radiant Too Faced Concealer in the shade Very Fair. And I'm just going to be applying it where I always apply my concealer. And I'll be applying the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the shade L1 Neutral. And I'm only going to be doing this a little bit underneath my eyes just to brighten it up. And I'll just be blending out my concealer with my 130 MAC brush. And now with the original RCMA No Colour Powder, I will just be baking underneath my eyes and on the bridge of my nose. This powder is so, so messy, so be careful when you're using it because it gets everywhere. So as that's baking, I'm going to be setting the rest of my face with my Ben Minerals Original SPF 15 powder in the shade Fair. And I'll just be using my Zoeva powder brush. And now I'm just going to wipe away the bag with my Morphe M438 brush. I feel like this powder bakes better on my skin than the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder just because that one never really worked when I tried baking but with this powder it works really really well so and it's cheaper as well by like a lot and I'm pretty sure you get more product in the container than you do with the Laura Mercier so I definitely recommend this one and now with my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette I'll be picking up this shade here as usual and just contouring my face. And now I'll just be grabbing a smaller brush and contouring my nose with the exact same shade. And as always I'll just blend it out with my fingers a little bit. And now with no powder I'll just go over it really lightly with my powder brush again. And now with my Hoola Benefit Bronzer I'm just going to be bronzing up my face with the Morphe M523 brush. 
I'll just be doing that underneath my cheekbones, around my forehead and underneath my jawline as well. I'm just going to blend it out with my powder brush again just to make sure that there's no harsh lines or anything. And now I'll be going in with this ColourPop Cream Highlighter and it's in the shade Wisp. And I literally got this yesterday and I just, I swatched it last night and oh my god, you guys, this is actually so, so soft and it's so pigmented just with the like tiniest swipe. And it's so creamy and soft. So I'm just going to dab this on my uh, cheekbones with my ring finger. I love layering a cream highlight and then a powder highlight on top of it. Because I feel like the cream highlight really makes the powder highlight pop much more. And it just looks like so pretty like that. Now I'm applying some to my nose. And a bit to my cupid's bow. And I'm just going to be grabbing my Morphe M501 brush and the NYX Dewy Setting Finish Spray and just spraying my brush so when I apply my highlight it's a bit more pigmented. And now I'll just be using the Becca by Jaclyn Hill highlight in the shade Champagne Pop. And do you see how pigmented the highlight is now? It's awesome. And I'll also be applying a little bit of my highlight on my chin and on my forehead as well. And now with my ring finger, I'm just going to apply it on my cupid's bow and on my nose. So now with my Tarte Color Wheel Blush Palette, I'll be picking up this shade here called Ironic. And I'll just be applying it to my cheeks. And this blush is so pigmented. Gotta blend it out really well. And now again with my powder brush, I'm just going to blend out that blush because it was really pigmented. So now we're going back into their eyes. And I'll just be lining my waterline with my Black Kylie Cosmetics eyeliner. And now back in with the palette, I'm just going to be picking up this shade here with my smudger brush. And I'll just be smudging it along my lower lash line. And now going in with this shade here, I'll be using my Morphe M433 brush and just pinching the tip of it just to smudge out my lower lash line. And now I'll be picking up Champagne Pop again with my Detail Shader Brush by Zoeva and I'll just be applying that on my brow bone and inner corners of my eye. And now with my Zoeva 227 brush, I'll be picking up this light shade that we used to set our eyelids. And I'll be applying that to my brow bone on top of Champagne Pop. And then just blending this with my 224 brush again. So now I'm just going to spray some of my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray all over my face. Now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. Now I'll be applying the Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara just on my top lashes. And now I'll be applying my Lily Lashes in Style Cans. And I'm just going to curl my lashes together. And I'll be applying my mascara on my top and bottom lashes. So 
So now the lashes are done and I'm just going to be using my Maybelline Hypershop Wing Liner, Liquid Eyeliner and just concealing my lash line. Just went and put my hoops on and now it's time for the final step which is the lips. So the first thing I'm going to do is just line my lips and fill them in with my Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K Lip Liner. So now for the first time in literally months and like months, pretty much since March I think, I'm going to be using a lip product that isn't Kylie Cosmetics, which is like so weird because I love Kylie Cosmetics and she, in my opinion, has the best formula for liquid lipsticks and I love her glosses as well because they're so pigmented and that's what I love in a gloss and that's what I look for in a gloss. But you know, I thought I should try something out for you guys, try something different and this is also a cheaper alternative and this is a Colourpop lip gloss and I've never used that Colourpop lip product before and I did swatch it yesterday and it is more of a sheer gloss which I usually like more pigmented glosses but I really wanted to try a sheer gloss as well because I haven't tried like a nude sheer gloss before I need like a pink sheer gloss so yeah I really wanted to try this out and this is the one in collaboration with Karouche or Karouche not sure how to pronounce that name but yeah and this is in the shade Lychee Me and this is just an up close of it I don't think it's available anymore but yeah, I'm going to just be using this gloss and I'm just going to be applying it on top of my lips. I don't mind this colour, it's not that bad, but it's not as glossy as the Kylie ones. And I feel like I have to keep going back to apply more lip gloss, where with Kylie's like one swipe covers so much of my lips. So yeah, that's the only thing. Otherwise, it's really nice and it's really good for the price. I think it was like $6 US or something like that. And now we are done with the makeup. So that is it for this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're new to my channel. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.